It's fall. Nothing better than pork schnitzel. Think Oktoberfest, good beers, good people. This is a great dish to get you through a football Sunday, a busy the middle of the week Wednesday, but pork schnitzel. I was once uh, drinking my way through a city in Germany, which was pretty cool, and the person I was with at one point, we said, what do we do now? We've had a bunch of beers, two, three, six, eight, and she said, let's go have dinner here. This place has great pork schnitzel. Now, I'd had pork schnitzel here in the States, pretty good, and this place, I don't know if it was the beers, the company, the great time I had, but it was amazing. So after we're drinking, I go up to one of the people that works there. I'm like, how do you make the pork schnitzel? Guys, no problem telling me the full recipe and it is off the charts. We're gonna share it with you now. Let's go, let's hammer it out, baby. Pork schnitzel for the nation. To start with, what you want are quality cuts of pork chops, boneless pork chops or cut around the bone. We got ours from our friends at Lee and Steigerwald's. It's a German deli in Syracuse, but they are just great. The great human beings that live there, they make the great, greatest cut of meat. So what we do is you wanna take one out, right, and put it onto a cutting board. There's two ways to go, but you gotta get it to about a quarter inch thick. So you can hammer it, which we like to do, or you can take a rolling pin and roll through it. But right now, we're making this thinner for three, so we are going to hammer out and roll out to a quarter inch three beautiful juicy pork chops. So what we're doing first, we've got three stations but are pretty easy to deal with. The first one is about a cup to a cup and a half of flour, a tablespoon of seasoned salt, a little bit of black pepper, an egg, and a quarter cup of milk. That's a good mix there. Panko breadcrumbs, we use a cup of panko breadcrumbs and a tablespoon of paprika. Okay, so once that's done, you are gonna go flour mixture first, and you wanna get it good and coated. And they're gonna come out looking pretty nice already, and we haven't even cooked them yet. So there's one, and now we'll do the rest of them. We're all coated up. Now it's time to get into our pan. Get the pan medium to hot. You're gonna drop it in here about three minutes aside till it's golden brown. Since you've pounded it thin, it's gonna cook all the way through and it's gonna be tender because of the beating it took. Coming out of the pan and onto the plate. Look at this, golden brown each side, quarter inch thick, so it's cooked all the way through and it's very tender. Now we're plating this with some spatzel, which is a German egg noodle. We got this also at Lee and Steigerwald, Lee's and Steigerwald's. You can get though, you can use regular egg noodles, that's not a problem at all. We also have a little coleslaw. Our topping is very simple, the sauce we're making. Some people use this out of the pan, but we don't like doing that because we think it gets too ugly. What we're using is a container of sour cream, about 16 ounces of sour cream, a bunch of dill chopped up, like a quarter cup of dill chopped up, one juice of one lemon and one lemon zested. We're just putting that all across the top. And we're getting to work. Apple, cabbage, coleslaw. Our spetzel's got some buttery garlic stuff on it. We like that for a bite of stuff too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cut of this beautiful pork. You're gonna see it's cooked all the way through and it's tender. Now, we've got some spetzel, some pork, the dill sauce in one beautiful bite. Like Wayne Newton said, Dunkashane. This dish is like Central Park in fall. We love y'all.